to my YouTube channel. It is Sumi. And on today's episode, we'll be talking about health discussion. No. No. <laughs> on today's episode, we'll be talking about regular checkup. Yes, we do not normally do that. It is like, okay, I have to wait until I'm extremely sick before I go to the hospital. Uh uh. It's always good to do regular checkup. But on this episode, we'll be talking about the importance of regular checkup and why you should be getting checked up regularly i am here with our normal usual auntie nurse fatima who has actually been helping us through health issues so welcome fati thank you very much mm -hmm. say Hello. hi to my viewers <laughs> so we, yeah we mentioned yes. we were talking about um, um regular checkup yeah importance of regular checkup okay you know like um about some years back people all go to the hospital when they are sick of course when I'm sick, when they're sick, I mean when they're sick, Even now, sick. How many shows? How many years no, back? But remember. right now, people are becoming more, more aware. Yeah, more people are becoming more aware of the importance of regular checkup. People mm. are taking their health seriously. People go to the hospital, not just when they're sick. People tend to want to find out ways on how to live healthy. Mm in general so right now more people are ten are joining the living the healthy life, life crew yeah. more mm -hmm. people are seeing the importance of preventive care that is learning how to prevent things um, at a quicker sickness and from level. coming from actually getting worse or preventing them from occurring in general mm -hmm. more people are going into that boat but yet some people are still left behind mm -hmm. so we want to make sure that everybody climbs on board everybody yes. is on board please normal trend. before we start rowing the ship <laughs> like get on board please. yes please everybody get on board <laughs> don't wait until you're sick before mm -hmm. you seek medical attention no no, no 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 the boat is here just come on board mm. come for regular checkup early detection leads to good prognosis when you are able to detect a sickness quick enough you would mm. be able to treat it better and your outcome the positive outcome um is more likely to occur when you start treating a disease earlier than later that's true that's true and also um i want to emphasize on because you know that most time people tend to use the excuse of okay it's not an excuse but it's an excuse of there is no money like we always feel as if it's only the rich people that can have this regular checkup and i want to say that no matter your situation even if it means you start saving up okay maybe make it a plan like okay i'm going to be um i'm going to have regular checkup say four times a year that is quarterly after three three months Mm? that's i'm using it based on okay you don't have enough money so what you do is just to be saving a little bit before that three months elapse where you can just go for normal okay let me just go and have this um say maybe do an x-ray of my whole body or, or scan you know get my whole body to check any internal organ and everything okay let me you know get malaria typhoid the regular checks up just in case you know because sometimes some sickness might hide in your body for a long time and you wouldn't really know until it's already you know it's become a big issue and that would be a sad situation so yeah I need a yeah thank you very much for bringing up the issue of money when we're talking about regular checkup we're not just talking about um going to the hospital and having all the um humongous tests tests done on you mm -hmm. we're talking about the little little things you take for granted we're talking about having a consultation but with your doctor we're talking about having your blood pressure being checked we're talking about you having your vital signs being checked those are the things that would dictate there's something wrong mm, with you having level. your pulse rate being checked having your um your blood pressure being checked checking your weight on regular basis checking your temperature on regular basis these are like your baseline data that denotes if there is something wrong with your body in general so this is what we are talking about sitting down one or not one to discuss with your health consultant that will now lead us to know if you need a test or not mm. there are physical examinations that will be carried out on you there are um, general examinations that will be carried out on you just by seeing you as a health personnel you would be able to realize if there's something wrong with you mm. do you understand what we are saying mm. so when we are saying regular checkup is not when you just go to the 
hospital then we'll start sending you for humongous tests okay go for liver function tests oh yeah now go for thyroid function tests okay do this do this then you start spending money up and down mm. they have to be reasons they have to be symptoms that would be seen they have to be signs that would be seen before they would say okay then you need to go for this test and mm. that test and that test so that will now lead us to have an early detection of any disease that might um, that might you might be having because some of these grave diseases some of these diseases do not show their signs and symptoms early mm. except when it is already at the later stage of the whole thing mm. so it is when it has finished eating you up then it will now start showing signs and symptoms and then you are already down and that's when you now start running to the hospital at that stage you have already reached like a later stage of that particular disease mm. but when you go to the hospital regularly you make the hospital like a friendly environment for you you go for regular checkup you go for regular consultation you go to check your blood pressure regularly then you would see that it will be you get to dicto, uh, dictate Dictates. all those um, health issues quite early and then you and your healthcare providers will be able to find a cure or a way to manage that disease in a better way mm -hmm. thank you very much for understanding with me and <laughs> joining this boat because I can see people moving to the boat oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that is so nice. <laughs> when she said, yes. so thank you very much, I'm like, are we in debate? Are we debating? You know, when you finish making your points in debate, you'll be like, thank you very much for no, Mrs. I can, I can, Moderator. I could see people actually joining. Yes, them, yes, yes. Coming on board, you of know. Of course, yes. <laughs> Nodding your head over there, I can mm -hmm. see it. <laughs> Just talking about the importance of um, regular checkup. Mm. So, why do you need to go for regular checkup? Let's list them out. Okay like some of the reasons why you need to go for regular checkup mm -hmm. first of all is to detect any abnormality mm -hmm. regular checkup help us to detect if there is any issue in your body physically mentally you see like if you go for regular checkup you'll be able to they'll show you some preventive measures there are health educations that have been said in hospitals from that health education you'll be able to pick one or two things um like learning the normal self breast examination mm -hmm. and all that as you know ca now is quite common that's cancer okay. it's quite common and one of the commonest cancer that we are dealing with is breast cancer mm -hmm. and um with breast cancer early detection can lead to good prognosis mm -hmm. um, what I mean is that if you detect it early then the um, the chances of fighting you fighting cancer successfully is quite higher than when you detect it later when it has already reached a higher stage mm -hmm. and it might not really so show signs promptly until it's reached a higher stage but if you're somebody that is very careful and visit the hospital quite often you would get to learn about self breast examinations and then you'll be able to realize that you first the first stage is finding a lump in your breast going to the hospital you see all those are like stages I'm using this as an example what I'm saying is going to hospital regularly for checkup will help you to detect if there is any health Issue, issue at the earliest stage wrong with you at the earliest stage mm. and then it also helps to find at risk patient when we say at risk patient we're talking about people who are at risk to a particular diseases now for example we're talking about people who are obese people who are obese are at risk to so many health issues so if you go to hospital regularly you would meet a health professional so who would tell you this. you know you go you go to the hospital regularly then you check your weight and then they measure your height and then you probably the person and the health professional will take it upon himself to calculate your BMI and then he'll tell you you have become obese you have become overweight which is making you to be at risk to this disease this mm. disease and health, that disease, disease this health disease the heart the heart and all that mm. and your blood pressure so this will now make you and the healthcare provider to bring out a rule you rule out ways to prevent you from getting, getting those, those diseases. diseases by helping you to lose your weight mm. do you get what i'm saying won't well, mm -hmm. take it until us yes for people with history of diabetes in their family you see when you go to hospitals and you have um, consultation with your healthcare providers and then you get to know that okay you have a history of diabetes in your family mm. and maybe you're getting obese or mm. maybe your dietary system or something mm. is changing and and then maybe your sugar level is going high a little or something of that nature or your blood pressure or something so that will make 
that particular healthcare provider that is attending to you to be at alert and then will now help you to rule out to find ways in adjusting your diet your lifestyle in general mm -hmm. so as not to get you to that point of having that diabetes or controlling it so that it will not be aggravated mm -hmm. do you understand my point so um while you are talking fatty you mentioned like if we if, if we should decide to go to the hospital you people because you people are the people that will not you know bring all the bills and expensive tests for us to spend money to do so what should one expect when they go to the hospital what is the that screening that will be like okay this is preventive screening that we can do in order to know to detect if there is anything or to avoid anything in the future yes like i mentioned mm. earlier i said um some of this um screening that you need to do uh history taking you know when i say history taking is you conversing with your um healthcare provider mm. just how long back have you done this mm. what have you done since when did you realize these changes and all that mm. so okay history taking that's like consultation and then the second one is your blood pressure your okay. blood pressure is very important it's amazing you would hear some people tell you they have never checked their blood yeah in their life <laughs> i'm telling you this i had this patient one time he came and then his blood pressure was quite high because he was a young person uh, you know in his late um, in his late 20s and then I was like um normally what's your blood pressure he said and he has not checked his blood pressure ever before like hello so there is no Never. history you know there's no history he doesn't even know his normal blood pressure so he wouldn't know if this is elevated or normal for him you know Mm, and that's not okay that's not okay so it's always it is good very to important to check your blood pressure mm. regularly mm. i don't think they take money to ch for checking blood pressure you can walk into any health facility around you even pharmacies around you should have um, a bp apparatus mm. which you can use to check your blood pressure so these are one of the things like checking your blood pressure and then okay. your bmi like i said bmi is body mass index and it is your weight over your height okay. so what you do is you go to the health facility you have your weight being checked you have your height been checked and then you can ask them to calculate your BMI for you which is your weight over your height in meter square so these are some of the screening that uh, will be done on mm -hmm. you apart from that we also have some other intensive screening which are very important those are like this can the cancer screening okay you, which in that form you would also include the breast examination mm -hmm. because it is quite necessary we have the cancer of the service test which is the pap smear test okay. it is also done quite regularly and it is free mm -hmm. yeah okay so you can walk into okay, hospitals to have those kind of tests done mm -hmm. those are the tests that you need to carry out on yourself mm -hmm. these are the kind of checkups you need to do like hiv tests people feel having their hiv knowing their hiv status is like it's disturbing, oh, disturbing. <laughs> what is disturbing is not knowing your hiv status Truly. hello hello Truly. you should check your hiv status at least every six months mm. or at most you can make it out every year once a year once a year it is very important just keep your life in check mm. there are many ways you can fall ill so you should just take this tests and screening seriously mm. so those are the tests i'm talking to you i'm telling you about mm. and most of these tests like most of the screening are free or That's cost really very amazing. very or very little, little mm. money when it gets to that large stage where you have to pay money wh whatever thing you see whatever screening tests you see are free in nigeria is because they're the they are, basics they are the basics and they are important mm. and they want everybody to be able to do be able those to afford tests, it. tests to be able to afford those tests so that is why they are made free or affordable mm. so for you to get to that okay a um, big list or big money involved that would be when maybe something from those primary tests or screening has actually led them to feel okay we need to have this yes and that could lead to that well, that, yes. well, that's really good yes like also your eyesight like you go for eye checkup and we, we tend to we, we, like ignore no. things like that yes and before you know someone will just sit and they'll be like i'm seeing blurry but maybe they have been signs but you you didn't know or maybe if you had gone for checkup they would have realized that at the earlier stage and it wouldn't have gotten to that it point. wouldn't have gotten to that point and then very importantly immunization it is very important to take immunizations. This is very important for your child, for you as a person. Whatever immunization comes up, 
you should try and do it mm. you should try to immunize yourself those are the ways that you can prevent yourself from illness those are preventive care preventive measures that you take to prevent yourself from having serious diseases we have different immunization we have for hepatitis i know a lot of people who have not taken the hepatitis <laughs> vaccine up till now what are you waiting for i do not understand like seriously, like seriously. and the vaccination is quite is free you mm. just pay for the test but you mm. get the vaccination free so what are you waiting for please there was a time that the just test was free sir that that was that once time. upon a time that's that time and it's just like just just the same with um this covid 19 uh, yes we are and at, right at now we are moment. we are facing the issue with covid with and then Omicron a lot of people back and are that. drawing their legs um, a lot like, of people are drawing their legs <laughs> this they, is the right to... stage and and vaccine for now is free covid 19 vaccine so go out there and take it people tend to see this is we really annoying for even for people that are educated you see the government don't forget in nigeria we have health practitioners if at all this the westerners that you are thinking that are bringing um if, if vaccines that would ha have you know that would affect our health if at all it's bad our health practitioners would see it and they will not allow it that's why we have government our government will not bring something that will harm their people but then we we'll just sit down and we we'll judge some things. The health practitioners are bringing something that would help us, and we are saying, "No, you want to kill us with it, really? I'm and you fine. don't want to die. You want to stay the whole in the whole life here in the earth." <laughs> there are some things that you don't even know where to start from to yes, educate people from. It's yes, so annoying. Yes, it's so okay, annoying. But, but and then for the lesson. cancer, I, I mentioned all uh, all the cancer screening I mentioned were mostly for women, for men too, like the testicular test for your um, for the testes. So yeah, there are other cancer screening tests also for men, mm. which is also necessary. Mm. Those yeah. are the screenings, I think. <laughs> We hope that um, we have been able to help in one way or the other to impact to you. And yeah, we would wish for you to impact, you know, to us as well. So if you have any um, reservation or any thoughts, please let us know in the comment section below. Yes, I would like to hear your thoughts as well. And please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up help videos grow. If you have other things that you would want us to talk about on health discussions, then please, yes. Ask your question. Yes, on the comment <laughs> section. Just drop your comments and definitely um, Antinas and I would come back. Yeah. I would say thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to click on the red subscribe button and make sure you click on the post notification bell so when next I post something, you will like get it immediately. Until next time, it is Sumi and Fatima signing out. Bye. Bye. -ya. Bye.